Hey everyone, it's Erica and I am back with another process video. Today I will be using the March 2017 Click Kit that features the Little by Little collection by Chamel. And I found a challenge on Scrappy Like a Fox Instagram page and um, she's been posting a lot of layouts from a lot of different designers and a lot of them have these little strips of paper whether they are just going all the way across the page or at a diagonal, diagonal or if they are kind of like uh, cross stitched between each other, just um, tons of layouts with strips of paper. She's calling it Yippy Strippy, and I will make sure to leave links down below so you guys can check it out. So I was inspired by her challenge and I wanted to give it a shot. I had a bunch of strips left over and I did cut up um, some extra to add to the layout. And I am going to create a fun layout with for this challenge. And um, I just started out by adding some sprinkles of color that kind of matched the colors of paper that I had. And then I added the strips of paper along the side of the white cardstock. Um, I took the page to my big old trimmer and then go ahead and trim those down so that I had a nice straight edge. And then I'm gonna pull out my sewing machine and stitch through all of the pieces of paper that have color. The black and white ones I left with no stitching, um, but the ones that were yellow, pink, or teal, I ran white stitching through. Just to add some texture to the page and some interest. I really like when I add stitching and um, the threads are just kind of loose on the page. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that really quickly um, to my layout. And like I said, I will leave links down below so that you guys can check this uh, challenge out. Um, but I believe her her first name is Tracy, her last name is Fox. Well, that's her 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 name on uh, the Instagram, um, and then her Instagram handle, I guess, is Scrappy Like a Fox. Um, I'll make sure to link it down below so you guys can check it out. This is a great way to use up. Um, scraps of paper and also those border strips that come on the 12 by 12 papers is another great way to use those up as well. So there I'm just showing you the stitching uh, that I did on the page. It's kind of hard to see on camera but in person you can see all the texture and the strings. So I have this photo here of Lola. She is our pit bull puppy and she is a red nosed pit bull. So I took this photo of her. She's laying um, kind of laying across my legs and I had her head resting in my hand and I snapped a photo of her really quick. Um, she's always with me, always, 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 always at my side. And um, whenever I leave the house, my husband says that she just sits in the window all day until I get back home. And then as soon as I get home, it's just, you can see that she just like lights up and it's like the best thing ever when I walk in the door. And then right there, she is right there on my side. Um, so I am just scrapping this photo of her, adding some layers. Um, with the papers from the kit and then also adding some vellum as well. Um, like I said, she is a red-nosed pit bull. She's the sweetest little puppy ever. Actually, she's not a puppy really anymore. She's uh, She'll be two in November. Um, but she's just so sweet, so calm. Just a really, really good dog. So I wanted to scrap this photo of her. And I'm just adhering my... Uh, layers down. I had some strips left over so I'm just adding those, tucking those kind of in here and there, adding more color and layers to the photo or behind the photo and then the vellum is going to be the last thing that I add and then I'll adhere some um, foam tape behind that and then adhere it to my layout. Once I have that down, I'm gonna go ahead and pull my embellishments out and then start um, adding some things around my photo. All the embellishments there, I have there in that little tray there are embellishments that come in the kit. There's ephemera, there's flare, there's some puffy stickers from L Studio, there's some acrylic shapes, all kinds of things. And then I'm also gonna pull out some of the add-ons that we have in the shop. They are different pieces from the Shamil Little by Little collection. We have the wood buttons, we had the um, accent stickers, the phrase thickers, and then we have enamel dots, and there was a sticker book as well. I think that one did sell out, but there are still a few pieces of this collection left in the shop. I'll make sure to link it down below so that you guys can pick it up if you're interested. So I'm just gonna pull some pieces um, add some things here and there along the strips of paper, some of the wood buttons and some stickers and enamel dots. 
um, just along the side there, kind of matching the embellishment with the strip of paper. Um, not all of them match exactly, but pretty close to it. And then um, I did pull this camera ephemera piece out of the ephemera pack and I uh, adhered it there to the side. And then I'll add a few more embellishments as well. Um, a couple floral pieces and a couple of the feathers from the accent sticker as well. For my title, I am going to use the alpha stickers that come in the kit. They're very fun and playful and um, they have some polka dots along the bottom. So like the top is uh, the solid color and then at the bottom is polka dot. It's really cute. So the title is Red Nose Lola. Like I said, she's a red nose pit bull and her name is Lola. So I just did that as the title, simple and sweet. Right there are the enamel dots, well, enamel shapes. I believe they're star stars and hearts. They're really small and they're really, really cute. So enamel dots are one of my favorite things that I have in my stash. I have a ton of them. Um, they're just great little pieces to add to your projects. So there's the feathers right there. I'm going to cut a little slit in the side of the feathers so it can kind of fit right there in the photo. And then I'm going to add, I thought I was going to add this other feather, but didn't really like it. So I'm going to pull a floral piece, cut it in half, and then stick one half there by the feather, and then another half in the other corner of the photo. Just like that. And then I'm going to add this other half there to the side and then I added a foam uh, circle there to give it a little bit of dimension as well. So I'm just kind of messing around with the embellishments that I had there. I'm going to pull out these thickers here and there's a couple of the black foam hearts and I'm going to add some of these to my page as well. So I'm just going to kind of mess around with where I want to put them. And then the last thing that I'm going to do, well, I think it's the last thing I'm going to do, is add some black splatters. And I was going back and forth whether or not I was going to add the splatters. And I decided at the end, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and add the splatters. And then I tipped my bottle over and some of the India ink got on the bottle. And then two big splats ended up right underneath the photo. Did not like that one bit. So I kind of tried to figure out what I was going to do. Um, off camera, I tried to cover it up with an embellishment, and then I'm like, I will try to put some white out down there. That did not work. So I decided, you can see there's the two splats right there at the bottom. Um, I didn't want to leave it, and I decided that I would just do some journaling on some white paper with my typewriter, and then cut up the strips, and cover it up with the journaling. And in the end, it can't even tell that those ink splatters are there. <laughs> so it turned out perfect in the end. Um, but I always debate whether or not I wanna add the ink splatters. Um, sometimes it works out and then sometimes I end up with these big old splats that I don't like, so then I have to try to figure out ways to cover it up. I usually can cover it up pretty well. Like I said, this one, I just added my journaling and cut it up in strips and then covered it up and it, it looks fine. I think it looks good just the way it is. <laughs> so here I am, I just pulled out my typewriter and I'm just adding, adding a little bit of journaling about Lola and her personality and how she loves the kids and how the kids love her and just how sweet she is and um, stuff like that. She loves her, uh, her other sister, her other first sister, Izzy, and her human brothers and sisters she loves very, very much. So I'm going to add that and then go ahead and take it to my paper trimmer and then run those strips of paper through my Xyron sticker maker and then add them to my layout. Um, if you do not have a typewriter, you could do this with your computer. Um, find a nice typewriter font, type out your journaling, print the paper, and then cut the strips. Um, and just use regular adhesive to stick it down or if you have a Xyron sticker maker you could use that as well. I love the Xyron sticker maker because it puts adhesive 
all along the whole back of it. Just, it makes it easy and quick. So here I am just cutting them strips and I'll trim off the little edges of them, um, run them through the Xyron and then go ahead and adhere them to my layout. And that pretty much finishes up the layout. I hope you guys enjoyed this layout. I will leave all links down below for you guys so you can check out. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.